Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm showing you Kodiak JS or JavaScript. It's a code editor and environment for JavaScript programming on your iPhone, iPad. It has a bunch of libraries that you can use to write code. It has a file manager so you can manage your files. It has syntax highlighting so you can write your code easily and it has a keyboard so you can type. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of examples and some of the features that it has. First of all, you can select and manage your files easily. You can select multiple ones if you like. Tap on multiple icons. So that's the first tip I can give you. These little icons here, they all do tasks that you may have to do. For instance, copying or if you want to move something if you want to move something to a different folder, usually your project is going to have multiple folders or multiple files in it and you want to organize it. So if someone reads your code, they can understand it. So if you have your, you have your library someplace, you have your files someplace else, images someplace else. So that's important. As you can see here, they're organized fairly well. You can create a new file, give it a name, and go from there. You can create a new folder also. Now, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you an example. I thought about writing some code, but I, then I took a look at the examples that the developers have included here, and that's more than enough to show you and give you an idea what this is all about. So you have your inputs, you are, you're linking to your libraries, you have your CSS here, and your code. JavaScript function, camera, you have you have it all and then you can run it. And then you can close and go to another tab and try something else. Let's try a so you randomize. It's a randomization option and you go back to the code by tapping it on that I icon at the top. Now if I go and I try this one, you see these tabs? So you have tabs that you can go through. So you have multiple files and go through it that way. That's what that example does. You go something more sophisticated, let's say. Choose a file, take a photo. So you have that and I'm not going to go through the code and talk about JavaScript. Anyone who knows their programming, knows the importance of knowing JavaScript, not only that, but also knowing the libraries that you need to write code faster and better and this application has over 50 libraries and frameworks bundled so I'm just going to show you that this is the neat thing at the top it shows you what's changed so sorting by size when created or by kind and by kind here you can actually see the libraries if you if you will if I go back you see examples images I want to go see libraries and you see Bootstrap, Angular, jQuery, Prototype, Chart, Colors. So you have all this and you can go through them. Obviously, you probably are not going to de be dealing with this particular file. You just you use them in your final document when you're typing and entering your code. So a couple of things. You can also change the theme, font, and font size. So you have multiple themes to choose from. You have fonts also, whatever works for you. 
I personally prefer this one, but there are just so many other ones that it usually shouldn't matter as far as coding, but some people prefer to have the exact environment that they prefer to write their code. One thing that I don't want to miss here is the keyboard. So when you're typing, You have the keys at the top, which makes it easier. You just tap and go to the direction of the key or the character that you want to enter. So let's say I want to enter a, I don't want to enter that sign. Let's say I want to enter a dollar sign. You do it that way. Whereas if you go right and left, so you get a point and you have tabs and things like that to use. What I would say is it's a pretty decent application to run examples, try your own code, see different effects, even learn how to program JavaScript. It's very nice to have the option to be able to do it on your iPad. And the nice thing is you really just have to know how to type and no basic JavaScript programming to get it started. You don't even have to be a JavaScript guru. It's basic HTML and JavaScript. You just run it and you test it, test it, test it, and go from there. And the examples are pretty nice too, especially if you're just learning, try different ones, see how to use different frameworks, how, how to organize your files. That's very important as well. So that's about it. It's Kodiak JavaScript. It's by the guys that play Ragtime. And I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's stable. It has a lot going for it for a coding environment on the iPad, syntax highlighting, file management, libraries, navigation keys, customizable editor. So many, uh, so many good things going for it. And the demos and examples are a plus. We have also reviewed Kodiak PHP, which is similar application for PHP documents. So I do encourage you to go and check that video out. We are going to post both of these reviews at the same time so you can check them out and see which one works for you. If your PHP is your thing, maybe you want to go with that. If JavaScript is your thing, this is obviously the choice. I hope you enjoyed this short review. For more information, please go to iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. If you like this video, if you like this, these apps, please support the developer. If you like our videos, please support us by subscribing, following us on Facebook and Google Plus and things like that. Thanks again for watching, guys.